Good morning from Cabana Bay and Volcano Bay. I'm so excited to go down. We're about to head down because uh, we could start going down at, ooh, you fell. <laughs> she's, put on her, she's put on her shorts. Got her cute bathing suit on, got my bathing suit on. Take a look what I'm wearing. Gotta represent the new uh, Cabana Bay shirt that I got. And take a look at this. Wow, gorgeous view. My hair is a mess today, but it's gonna get wet because we're about to go to Volcano Bay. And it's supposed to rain later today, so we're gonna try to do as much as possible before it does start raining. It's literally supposed to rain at two. Yeah, and right now it doesn't look like anything because it's not a cloud in the sky. Well, except for over there. But, you ready to head down? I have a fear of water parks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she she has a little bit of a fear of water parks because of her ankle and everything. Yeah, the last time I was here, I walked all day. And I think my, my ankle was still, like, fairly new to, like, getting used to walking. But still, I walked all day barefoot on sand and flat ground, which is not good. Um, and so my ankle really came out huge and swelled and I didn't have a good time. And then water parks in general just scare me. It's not like I can't swim because I can. Um, there's just something, I think it's like from when I was little, I had a bad experience, but yeah, I agreed to this. I know I did. So I'm excited, but I'm scared. It's going to be super fun though. I'll be here to protect you. From the crazy water vines. I don't know. It, oh, yeah. All right, let's, out. <laughs> let's pack and go. Here we go. Volcano Bay guest entrance for hotel guests. Let's go. Literally right here. Just for reference. Yeah, there's we our... We came out that door. We're right here. Yeah, so we have time to walk over. We had time to do stuff. But we decided, you know what, get the earliest start possible before the rain, because you know Florida. You need a room key in order to get in. Now, I don't know if that means for all hotels or just... I think you can get in from all hotels, but this is the more convenient one, obviously. Yeah, no, obviously. I hear music, I hear people talking. And now security. Once again, the hospitality has been off the charts. And the security here at Universal in general, and everyone here at Universal, has been so nice since the reopening. Oh, just to let you guys know, we were confused about getting temperature checks for today. So they do change colors every day. Uh, we were able to get ours right at the Volcano Bay entrance. So we had to take the other ones off and put these on. Yeah, no, that was very convenient. So then we didn't have to go all the way down to we, the uh, the front entrance oh of the gosh. hotel. It's so cute. Hold on, I need you to help me. <laughs> all right, then real quick, we'll we'll talk more about uh, everyone here at Universal. Entrance to Volcano Bay. Yes, please. Oh. Oh. But yeah, Universal. Are man. you an Avatar question mark? <laughs> no, stop it. That's illegal. I <laughs> know. This is insane. Yeah. Well, there's the elevator, the escalators to get in and out. Still the entrance stop. I think that's actually where you originally would come from, right? Uh, I don't know about that. When I came, I had a park at uh, Universal. Take a bus over. And uh, this is where I spit out, so maybe I did. Wow. <laughs> wow. Here we go. And there is some people here. But that's okay. It's not a lot. Wow. Volcano Bay. I'm super excited. I'm excited but nervous. That's where we just came from, right? Yeah. This is our hotel? There's our hotel. Wow. Time to get a taco, taco. Little water jets. Yeah, do you want to get wet right now? Nope. Oh. No. Tapu, tapu. I'll take my shoes off. 
we gotta take our shoes off real quick before we find a spot. All right, let's go. They rake the sand here. Ashton's worst enemy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is so huge. The waves of the wave pool are going. We gotta get an umbrella. Yes, we need an umbrella. Let's find a spot. We've been christened. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we went into the wave pool. It was so much fun. I'm gonna take you to it real quick to show you. Cause then we're gonna go to the uh, uh the uh I can't even think of the word. The two. The wave pool was so nice. Ah, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs> and by the way, coolest thing, every time they turn on the wave pool, this thing when it does a drum beat, and then when it turns off, they do the drum beat again, and it goes back to the to the no waves. They do it, I think, every like five, ten minutes. No, I, I thought that was just it. But no, it was really cool. Really cool to see, because literally we went right in, and then the drum started, which like, whoa, what's happening? And then the, the wave thing came up and that means the wave pool was open, which that was really cool to see. I wish I had my vlog camera for that. And right now they're doing the ritual to activate the wave pool. There it goes. All the lifeguards are. Is a wave pool. Yay! We got here just in time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Here they there go. it goes. And it looks like it's going to the side this time. So I guess the, how the wave pool works is that at certain times it goes to, to one side, to another side, and then the center. Because when we first got here, the wave pool went to the center. And now it's going to the side. It's also a different uh, sign. Yeah, it's also a different sign. Maybe that means like mild waves. Or something like that, yeah. And then the next one is like... Big waves. Super big waves. That's interesting. Very interesting. Very cool. I'm gonna go under and pop. Yeah. Bye! Look how beautiful she is, going in the water. <laughs> we wanted to come over now to do some merchandise. Look, it's the one from the commercials and the things. They have one over here. Is it a dark color? Yeah. yeah, it's dark. Look at that. Ah. Two different colors. I think these are the UV ones, right? Yeah. Or water ones. Yep. Wow. 50 plus. I like it. Should, okay, so here's the thing. Should I get my size or should I get a size smaller? I think you get a size, a size smaller. Just like this. I'll ask. I like this Volcano Bay hat. I really like this. Look. 
25 for the hat and how much for that? It's 40. 40? Like a Becca I'm gonna grab two. And ask them that same question. Maybe they'll have a better answer for you. Yeah. I might want one, <laughs> honestly. Because honestly, like I feel like when you come to a water park, I feel like you gotta get one of these. I like. I don't like. I don't. I don't like like being bare skinned sometimes, especially on the on the water coasters. Like I felt a little weird. But I don't know. Let's see what this one is. Oh, they think these are the kids ones. Probably for the same price. They have towels. This is not the towel I like. The towel I like is at the other thing. But these are pretty nice. Some nice towels. I think these are what, 25? I don't know. Think. Oh look, it's the Minions. Yeah. They have these waterproof casings for $30. I was thinking about getting one so I could do some maybe vlog footage and stuff, but I want to find out if you're allowed to take these in the water. Because if I am, maybe I'll bring it and then we can do some more vlog footage from the pool. So I didn't think that I was going to be getting like the waterproof casing today, but um, they said we are allowed to take it on the rides. So I got one for myself. So then maybe we can uh, get a little recording going on uh, the water coaster and uh the lazy river uh, the lazy river and all that maybe we'll do that all again for you guys because we went on already because we didn't think that we were allowed to record on the rides <laughs> the tiki's talk <laughs> yeah but this is very awesome i have okay. oh yeah <laughs> they have a lot of the same stuff over here but oh look Bag. You have a drawstring bag. There's the shirt that you liked. Hmm? No, I was. I like the tie dye one. I'm just trying to see what's on the back of it. Oh. Oh, that, that's the one on the mannequin from before. Yeah. All right. So now we know the tie dye this one is. Cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, the tie dye one's on it. Yeah. Oh, look. There's another one, though. So I have a choice. The other one was what, blue and green? Yeah, it was blue and green, and this is green and red. Christmas? Christmas colors. Spend, spend your holiday at Volcano Bay. Yeah, this is cute. I like this bag. There was a drawstring bag over there. I like this. This is a cute shirt. I saw someone wear this yesterday at the hotel. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it's fun. Yeah. It was the same shirts. I might get one for myself later. What though, honestly? Yeah, the one that you have. Oh look, do a photo. Let's let's take a look at our photos. <laughs> Alright, All so right. we uh, went on the water coaster <laughs> twice. And, oh, wait. oh. <laughs> oh, they didn't get our. They got someone else. But I wonder if this is the second one. <laughs> oh, we're just screaming. <laughs> My face is priceless. <laughs> That's funny. Let me go back, go back, and then look. What is this one? This is from the. Oh, you're just chilling. Look at you. I look like a farmer with that farmer's tan though. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Let's take a look at yours. Let's go back all the way. There you go. Now grab your tapu. Oh, I got them both. This is the first one when I was terrified? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is when I was terrified. You didn't like it. No. <laughs> I wasn't a fan. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. That's cool. So we can buy those later if we want. I think what I'm going to do later is go back, get the towel, 
and get all the rest of the stuff that we want to get. Yeah. Or should we just do it now? No. I, let's do it later. As we're sure. walking. Yeah, I'm positive. It's going to start raining later. It's going to get a little crazy. That's why. We'll do it when we see some dark clouds. All right. I want to get I want to get back. I want to do some more rides. I want to eat. Maybe yeah, later. I want to eat. I'm hungry. So let's go get some food then. Let's get a snack. We're taking a look at the menu right now for Volcano Bay for this uh, place. It's called Koala Reef. Koala. Koala. I don't know. I don't know. I don't speak uh, Hawaiian. They have longboard pizza. Some desserts. I might get a uh, grab and go. A grab and go salad. I might. Or sushi pack. Mm, I shouldn't eat sushi right now. I and am then on hungry. the other side, they have pulled pork. Island burger, koala, uh, koala burger, koala burger, whatever that is. Quinoa edamame, that's a vegetarian burger. This looks good, the, this burger, except for the jalapenos. Yeah, I thought about getting the island cheeseburger or this, the mango pulled pork, but I don't know if I want to eat, eat, or like get a snack. I might do a I, snack. Yeah, just do a snack. Cause, because you don't want to feel full when you go on rides. Yeah. Alright. Let's head up and get a snack. We're also going to figure out about maybe the cups. Because maybe we'll get a cup from here. If it's a volcano bay cup. Yeah. If they have like a, like a legit volcano, volcano bay cup. I feel like they do. I saw them. Yes. I feel like I got one the last time. Blue. Probably. Let's see. Always wear face coverings. Alright. So she took a little bite of the uh, chicken salad, how is it? It's all right. It's all right. It's Not starting to get a little more flavorful as I go. I think you were supposed to mix it around or something. Yeah, well, the thing like is I don't like cantaloupe and I think you're supposed to maybe eat it all together. Yeah. But this is pretty good. I think it's coconut pieces, apples, grapes, almonds, chicken, and then I think um, is it coconut, like, cream? Coconut cream. I did get a pineapple, though, so I am very happy. Yeah, you like pineapple a lot. Pretty good. So far, it looks pretty good. No uh, signs of rain just yet. So we have a little bit more time to was take you guys. worth $12? Probably not. Yeah. Well, I don't think it was worth $12 either. Everything was so expensive. I don't think anything here worth that much because even the food at our Kabam. hotel was it was it was thirty dollars last night for dinner for us after all the annual pass discounts after all of the freebie stuff it was still yeah it was thirty dollars i thought it was going to be like 60 because we got so much we got so much food we had a grilled cheese we had soup we had chips we had desserts we had more desserts we had pasta salad oh there's a bird guess what some clouds are rolling in. What? I said some clouds are rolling in. Yeah. So we gotta get back and do some more water rides. Maybe do the coaster one more time. <laughs> and then uh, go into wave pool. And it's the intense wave, so we should hurry. All right, we're going. To the way pool. I don't know how much you can see of us right now or hear of us. Hello. But we got the waterproof casing, so now it's time to go in the water. Ooh, it's cold. It feels so good. Hope you guys can see. Ah. Hi. Hey. Oh. <laughs> we got hit hard there. Here we go.
going to head to the Lazy River and record ourselves on that. Yeah, it's actually a lazy one, not the rapid one that we're going to show you guys later. <laughs> Coaster? Heck yeah. Let's. Third time with charm. Let's do it. Last time I did get a little scared. We caught air. We caught major air. On the way down. On the way down. There's the volcano. There's the volcano. Oof. Oof indeed. It's so pretty. I can't believe this is still a walk on. All day. All day. And like I said, when I came here the last time, I mean, of course there wasn't Corona or whatever. It was 180 minutes. 180 minutes and this thing has not been needed. I want to refund. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now this part makes me a little scared. It's now time to go on the not so lazy river. That's what I call it. Yeah. It's called something else. Fear something. Fearless river. Yeah, fearless river. All right. I think this these go by size instead of color. Yeah. I just wanted an orange one. <laughs> I got a blue one. This one feels massive, but it's okay. Yeah, I know. That's a big one too. run because it's so hot on these steps and I'm burning my feet burning my feet and I'm burning my hands okay 
<laughs> Sand. Okay, sorry if that was super unattractive, but it was hot. So anyway, they have these drop slides called the Oh Yeah and the Oh No. The Oh Yeah is a three foot drop. This is actually a perfect spot. I'm gonna turn the camera around. And then the Oh No is um, a six foot drop into a 10 foot thing of water. So I'm looking for him right now. He just went up since it's only a single person. I think the plan is that he's gonna do it and then I'm gonna brave it. I did these the last time. The six footer scared the heck out of me. Um, it really takes your breath away. So we're gonna do the three footer. I'm looking around for him. Don't see him, but yeah. Uh, it's a little scary, not gonna lie. Let me turn the camera around for you guys. So those are the two slides. The green is the oh yeah, the purple is the oh no. I see him off in the distance. He just got up, well he's working his way to the top because of social distancing. Oh, there he is, if you guys can see him in that little tiny hole. But yeah. Oh, let's see if he could see me. No, probably not. He was looking here. But anyway, so these are the slides. I'm gonna wait and see if you guys can see anybody come out. Oh, see, there you go. Oh, ah, they're so scary. Oh, he can see us, he's waving. Hi. All right. <laughs> he said help me. He's the one that decided to do this. That a little crazy. All right. Uh, let's see. He's next. I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep the camera on because I've been looking at the purple slide and I realize he's not going on the purple slide. So let's see if we can somewhat find him on this green slide. Usually you can see like a shadow. Oh, I think that's him. There he goes, guys. He's coming around the corner. He's right there. He's about to drop. Nope. Ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> So, oh my God, I just watched the video. I literally just flew in the air. Ugh. But now we're just sitting in the wave pool. Just to relax. Yeah, no, I told her that she's, cause she's very claustrophobic with tube slides. And uh, I don't think she would have liked it at all. Yeah, very, very small tube. Uh, and plus I, the t 10 foot drop, you feel it like right here, which is crazy. Uh, I might want to just run in real quick. <laughs> oh no, a cute girl attacked me. Ah! Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? Oh no, she left. Nothing. <laughs> All right, I'll keep her. What a beautiful, beautiful day. There's some storm clouds over there. Yeah. It's not even one o'clock yet, though, so we have at least an hour <laughs> until... Uh, but we don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, we don't know if we're going to stay or go. Maybe try the other pool. Maybe see if we can upgrade our passes. Because yeah, we could go to our pool. And chill out and go on our lazy river. Yeah. Or... We could go back to the room, take showers, and rest because tonight we're going bowling. Yeah, we're going bowling tonight. <laughs> we're super excited. Bowling. Having a lot of fun. Here we stopped at the ice cream shop and she got the, what is it called? Wateri the Fusion. Wateri Fusion. How is it? It tastes like Fruit Loops, like threw up in my mouth. <laughs> That's so good. It's, I just got a plain, I just got a plain vanilla with uh, with uh, caramel, obviously, and I'm gonna eat it before it melts. It's really good. Yummy. And just like that, we're back at our hotel. It still looks extremely empty as is, but gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous. After walking around and everything, 
Man, we came up at a good time because those yeah. storm clouds are rolling in. The storm clouds rolling behind uh, uh, the, the hotel. hotel themselves. So we have something to tell you. So we went to get services immediately after we left and everything uh, because we wanted to see about the upgrade for our annual passes to see if we maybe we can get uh, here at Volcano Bay. But we ran into some issues. Um, I was able to upgrade my pass if I wanted to. I did not upgrade my pass because I felt like it wasn't going to be fair. Uh, but she wasn't able to because she's on the monthly plan. Now, the monthly plan, you pay every month and whatever like that. But it's a little weird that they weren't able to do the same discount that I was able to. They used the, t the value of my ticket towards the, um, the annual pass upgrade. Um, we found it a little weird that they didn't actually honor hers but they're gonna honor mine if i do decide i have until the end of the day today either here or universal or at uh islands of adventure i don't think we're gonna do it today i think we're gonna, we're gonna pay for our next ticket and if we want to really do it we can upgrade it later uh right now we're still a little tight on money doesn't seem like it but we're still a little tight on the money as far as that goes like i don't think we have enough money to pay for more pastime it just sucks because, I don't know, I mean, I've never tried to upgrade a pass, so I obviously don't know, like, the rules and everything, but it was just so expensive for me, and I just, I don't know how I feel about that right now. With the value of the ticket for if you do pay in full, which I, did, which I am, it would have been um, $90, because they would have honored my ticket that I did today. Along with it, because together, all together, it's one hundred seventy-five dollars, seventy-five or seventy. Seventy-five. Yeah, one hundred and seventy-five to upgrade the pass in entirely, and then half of that is, I think, a ninety-six or whatever he said. Um, but no, I mean, we're not gonna do it right now, obviously, because right now we're happy with our two passes and the five times that we're gonna come here, we don't know how that's gonna work. Um, I personally think that keeping the two pass and then just coming whenever is probably better because uh, first off, the crowds are low right now, so we can come whenever we want. And not be worried about capacity or whatever like that. Yeah, and just doing an upgrade and then probably only using that for like, I don't know, three more months. So that's what like August, September. No, maybe two more months because October gets a little chilly and that's when Halloween starts and I would rather be in the parks than at a water park. So I don't think that in the span of two months it's worth it to pay almost $200 for me to upgrade to come, I don't know, maybe five more times. Yeah, I, I don't know what, exactly when the next time we're coming. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. We have some friends coming in town, um, so we may hang out with them. We may try to do this. Yeah. But, but for for right now, we're fine with our two parks and everything. We were gonna do it if she was able to get the same upgrade I was. We would have done it. We probably would have been flaunting it around right now. But the fact that uh, the upgrade still uh, would be a lot of money for her and not that much for me. I don't, uh, I don't think that would be fair for me to get the upgrade and her not. That's what I think. But I don't know if we're going to go by the pool yet. I, don't, I think we were thinking about it, but we're really, really hot and tired right now. So I think we're going to wait a, a little bit and then maybe go back down for like five, ten minutes. And I have an exam. And she has an exam today. Her freckles are really coming out today. <laughs> it's the sun. The sun makes her freckles come out. <laughs> so she looks a little wow. different. You have some that's the dark most ones. I've ever had. <laughs> you have some dark ones today. Jeez. Wow. That's literally the most I've ever had. Yeah. I feel, I feel like I, I got a nice tan going and everything. And my hair, I got a haircut right before coming here. My hair makes it look like I'm bald on the sides. <laughs> but no. Uh, we had fun today. It was a lot of fun today. We're going to do a whole review uh, later on. But we wanted to just uh, let you know the upgrade situation. So we decided that we're really tired because we were up super early this morning. So we're actually going to take a nap, a really, really good nap, uh, looking at Volcano Bay and everything uh, coming up in a little bit. But first, we want to give you our haul of Volcano Bay merch. So let's go.
So I was really happy about this because the lady saw that we were annual pass holders and we've been seeing these buttons everywhere, um, these ones, and I thought they were super cute, but I was like, ah, they're probably for only three park people, but she told us to go right on in and get these ones. And then she said, if you don't have last year's, it's also in there. So we got, um, ice cream, which is the ice cream I had earlier, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is really good. It's called Materia Fusion. So thought that was really cool. Um, her, one of her favorite items that we got. <laughs> I've bought two towels in the span of two days, but I can't help it because they're super cute. Is this what they do? Yeah. So this was their signature towel, Volcano Bay. Uh, super cute. It has the volcano sunset and their colors are green and blue. So this was nice. That's cute. And then since I'm going to have to start wearing more of these, I bought a Volcano Bay one. Um, I was really happy because on the little uh, promo video that we were watching, there was only a white one. And I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. So they have a dark one. It's really cool. It says Volcano Bay down the side. Um, I did go a size smaller like I did with this one because they said it's loose fitting and I didn't want it to flop up in the water. This actually did great today for anyone that... Uh, has the same problem that I do and burns immediately when they step outside. So this is really good. This came from Ron John's. So hopefully this will be good. Uh, and then I bought this shirt, Volcano Bay tie-dye. I love tie-dye. And then it says, it kind of looks like a spirit jersey, but not. <laughs> they do have a spirit jersey there. I don't know if they have a spirit ver jersey version of this, but. I didn't see one, but I think this was super cute. And then... What, we, what I got. What he got. So the front of his is the same as mine. So I'm just going to show you the back. But it says Volcano Bay Water Theme Park. This is really cool. It's got all the little stuffuses. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. And then the last thing, of course, we... Well, he bought this uh, waterproof phone holder. And it did really, really well. Good. Really well. You guys can see throughout the video and we went on the water coaster um and the lazy river and all that stuff it was awesome and his phone is perfectly fine everything that we got today was annual pass holder discount so big shout out to uh universal for their annual pass discount and all the stuff because um the one thing that's different about disney and universal is that disney does limit the annual pass discount where Universal, you basically can use it anywhere and everywhere on alcohol, on food and drink, uh, merchandise, uh, resorts, resorts <laughs> everything. Everything is a really, really good discount here at Universal. That's where they have the one up on Disney, I feel, personally. Yeah, you can literally use it with anything, anything you buy. If you buy a piece of candy, they're like, pass holder? And I'm like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like if a candy bar is like two dollars, you pay like a dollar like ninety or something like that. Something like that. Sometimes it's not you know a huge discount, and that's fine. Usually when you buy a bunch of stuff together, then it's a bigger discount. But we bought um, I bought my two shirts separately because I didn't know if I was gonna go back. I bought my towel separately because I didn't know if I was gonna go back. Um, and then of course like the buttons are free, which are nice because our lanyards are getting so full. Um, but usually that's how it works. If you, the more you buy, the more your discount is. Um, but you still get a discount either way. So. Either way. Oh, you hear the music from the <laughs> hotel room. It's going to be like this until at least five o'clock. But right now, ooh, it got dark. It got dark quick. Yeah, no, it got dark real, real, real quick. Oh, There's someone a... just went down the body plunge. Oh, there. Body plunge. I decided not to go. I really wanted to go originally. <laughs> I chickened out though, sad to say, but um It's huge guys. Yeah, it's it's much bigger than in person, trust me. If you do not like like the Tower Terror drop or the free fall drops or anything like that, then I don't recommend that no, at it's all. Not for you. <laughs> I can't believe I also rode the, the water coaster three, three times. times and I wanted to go more, but she said no. I okay, yeah. I got stuck the last time. So you guys know my ankle. His name is Arthur. Um, and <laughs> Arthur Rytus. Arth 
Ritus Arthur, Ritus. Anyway, um, so the last time it's really hard to get out of the the thing for me, and it's constantly moving too, which is even harder. So um, the last, the third time that we got out, my toe actually slipped up under the raft inside, and it got caught, and then my ankle was like not wanting to get up. So I was like, that's embarrassing because <laughs> people are sitting there watching you waiting to get in your boat. Yeah. So I was like, do we have to do it again? Because I don't like people watching me. That's the one ride I was very surprised about and I loved today. It was an amazing ride. I'm so glad we did it three times. Yeah, no. Walk on. Walk on all three times. All three times. Ah, all right. Now it's time for a nap. So good night. Yeah, good night. It's funny how crazy 20 minutes go by and literally now the pool is empty because there is thunder in the area and it's darker than 20 minutes ago. Everyone's leaving. There's some people that are waiting it out and seeing what's going to happen. But um, yeah, no. <laughs> the lights are turning on on the, uh, on the wheel and I think they're doing the red, white, and blue again. Wow, 20 minutes go by so quick. And it's very windy, look at this. Wow. The park just closed. I mean, not that many people were able to enjoy the rest of the day because it just stopped raining. I wanna see if they can get the, if, like there's a, a final explosion. We just woke up from a nap. Ooh, that's high. That's high. Anything? No? No, I don't think we're gonna get an explosion. Sad, sad life. Literally everyone left. It is pretty empty there. Galaxy Bowl. It's a two hour wait right now, but it gives us enough time to eat, maybe go over to the arcade, and then get the chance to have our lane to ourselves. But right now, we're also watching the Stick Me on the big screen. But apparently, it's on TV. I'm super excited. Everything looks so good on this menu. Not gonna lie. And then the drinks. Are you gonna get something to drink? <laughs> oh boy, these burgers and loaded fries look amazing. They are good. Yeah, the loaded fries taste really good. It's freezing in here. Yeah, it's very cold. Waiting for bowling. Super excited though. Just got our lane, and we're gonna get started. I go first. I'm so excited. I haven't bowled in years. I'm so excited. Ready, baby? Yeah. Goes my baby. There it goes. Baby, go. Okay. Hamilton's on TV. Oh. 
my turn. Here you go. I love the lanes with the different uh, different menu and like different themings. Wow, oh, that many, but pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Oh my Hi. Sup? No, you don't. I'm not doing so hot, and I used the bowl. Yay! Let's see. Is there like a thing? Open. I don't know what that's supposed to mean in bowling. <laughs> My turn. Go, babe, go. He's doing bad. It's just as good as I am, so it makes me feel better. <laughs> Got minions playing. Cute little aesthetic right there. Bowl was that? Oh, obviously a spare one. Okay. Wow. Make it worse for me. Bad camera work. Let me do it. <laughs> Here he goes. Professional bowler. Last frame of and one and two more minutes actually until the end. Yeah, baby. This is my best game, but I haven't played in like two years, so. Come on, baby, get a spare. If you get a spare, you'll be over 100, I think. Wait. Oh, so close. Let's see what your final score is. 96. All right, that's it. We don't have that much time. We are walking back to our hotel room for the night. The fire pit is going. The pool's still open. They're actually open until 11 tonight. Look at the lights before the pool closes. Look how beautiful. I'm gonna miss this place. We gotta come back sooner than later. I'm probably gonna cry tomorrow. I cried when we got here, I'm gonna cry when we leave. Yeah, this was a great staycation. We'll definitely come back soon. I'm already getting emotional. Aww. <laughs> I don't wanna go home. <laughs> it's not like we have any work or anything to do. I mean, well, I have school. <laughs> and then we got a big, big, big video coming out soon. By the way, speaking of videos, I have to edit like so many videos when we get back. I know. We've been slacking, guys. We're sorry. You're going to probably get like three days worth of videos. Four days worth of videos, maybe. Yeah. Wow. Which we is good. You guys have something to we, really, <laughs> we really should have brought down our bathing suits. <laughs> that would have been fun to do right before. The hideaway bar, I think, is open still. I don't know. Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Why not? The bar? Yeah. Goodbye, Cabana Bay Pool. We had so much fun. We will come back. We will come back very soon. Maybe even for one night. Who knows? Just to say that, hey, we're going to do the amenities. For our last morning here, we have a plethora of food. We got both. We got uh, Belgium waffles. 
biscuits and gravy and uh, morning potatoes or breakfast potatoes or whatever it's called. Home fries. Yeah, home fries. Yeah, I call them home fries. Yeah. I think you grew up with breakfast potatoes? No, it was just like potatoes. Like we just call them potatoes. Ah. You know. <laughs> and then we always have butter and salt and pepper and ketchup. So we're about to dig in and enjoy ourselves. Look how beautiful it is. It's gorgeous. Oh my God. Seven of you that probably watched all the way to the end. Thank you for watching the video. Um, and these last two videos from our staycation at uh, Cabana Bay and our day at Volcano Bay. So full review of the hotel. Here we go. We absolutely loved it. Every moment from the moment we went, we got to the lobby to the moment we checked out, we had excellent customer service, excellent food, excellent, not one complaint, not one complaint. The only thing that I wish that we did do was stay a little bit longer, honestly. Um, Which we contemplated. We contemplated it for a little <laughs> bit, but we had to go home and get some stuff done around our houses and stuff and uh, prepare for Disney stuff coming in the next couple videos. Yeah. So, here we go. <laughs> First day, uh, check-in. Very easy. Um, I didn't know going into it if they were going to do the Disney approach with the whole virtual check-in or like you have to do it on the app or like a like an email kind of thing. But they did a, a real check-in, but they had the plexiglass thing. So check-in was very, very easy. Very, very easy. Um, what, what did you think of it? Of I didn't really do check-in. You did. But you were with so, me. I was with you, but I wasn't paying attention. I was looking around. So I don't really know the process or what happened. I think I was still in shock at the one moment. Of, one of the coolest things I felt like during check-in was that the lady behind the desk actually said happy anniversary to us. Yeah. You remember that? Cute. Yeah. Yeah, um, it was su it was super nice of them to do that, and super cool that they um, even would uh, go into their notes and figure that out. And I think they also went from their notes also because I did put I wanted a high room so I could be able to see the Volcano Bay and all that kind of stuff, and we could have gotten some really cool time lapses, which we did for you guys. We got the the sunrise and the sunset uh, in this video. Um, but they really went by those uh, little things that we put in the reservation which that is so awesome and so amazing that they would do that and uh being so uh great uh at everything um that night what did we do we did uh the pool we went to the pool we didn't do the actual pool we were going to but it was starting to get a little dark it was cold because it did thunder lightning and everything right before then but we did do the lazy river at the hotel which is a very cool feature for the hotel for the hotel because if you do not get actually out into volcano bay at least you got a little bit of a fun thing to do uh like lazy river i love lazy rivers those are fun to do like a cool little lounge thing it was a decent size one and a cute one for families the, yeah for families and like for the hotel in general i liked it i usually like when i go in lazy rivers i want them to be longer and like so you could just enjoy it and not have this one little tiny circle mm -hmm. um and theirs was pretty pretty decent so for uh, the hotel yeah okay so food the, oh. the bay liner diner we thought it was only gonna be like a one-time thing but we wanted to go back so many times because uh our dinner that night we got the grilled cheese which was fantastic mm. and then uh, we went for breakfast uh the day the last, we were, day. The last day before we went home oh, and breakfast was oh my so god good. that was amazing everything about the hotel was fantastic um the bowling alley i had fun even though uh she did not do the best uh she loved it Suck. I, I, I'm good at bowling, but I was not on my game because I'm you. I, I've done bowling in my past, and I've done like the leagues and stuff like that. And I haven't done in like I haven't bowled in like two years, so uh, I was a little rusty. But it was a lot of fun. The wait time, <laughs> yeah, here. The wait time. Uh, they said two hours, but I felt like they got us in under two hours. It felt like. I mean, we did other stuff. We went to the arcade again, which going now the arcade. That was a lot of fun. The arcade was the arcade super, was fun. super fun. Um, we like arcades. We like <laughs> arcades a lot. Um, 
Uh, the social distancing, we'll cover that right now. We'll just get out of the way. Everyone was following the rules. Everyone was following the mask policies and all that stuff. Um, I had not ran into any issues as far as people with masks uh, in my recent experiences at the theme parks. Um, people at the theme parks can get a little close, but not for me, for me personally, I don't know about you, but for me, I have not felt uncomfortable yet. Um, some people have, like uh, people like Tim Tracker, uh, Prince Charming Dev, and all those other YouTubers um, that we've been watching. Um, they've had encounters that people got too close, or people are not in their own spaces, or not following the rules. I have not seen those issues just yet. I mean, I kind of did at Volcano Bay, and I don't know... I mean, I know it's hard, like, when you're in a lazy river and when you're floating and you can't control what happens, but I don't know if you could see my face or if you cut it out or what, but when we were in the lazy river, there was a whole family that was right behind me, like, touching my tube and, like, trying to push me out, and I just was not okay with that at all. Um, I couldn't say anything because I didn't know if it was just because we were in the water and we were all getting pushed or what but that was my only incident because you obviously don't wear a mask at a water park and they were just like on top of me yeah and that was about it all right so now the main part the room holy cow 10 out of 10 want to leave that room we did not want to leave that's why the first night we did dinner and all that stuff and then we went back up and then we just enjoyed the view uh, we watched the fireworks that night. We got some pizza from uh, Delicioso, which was amazing, by the way. Every we literally decided that there's no bad food at Cabana Bay. Which was like a big shock because usually you find that one thing that was like, eh, not to, up to your standards. But no, everything at Cabana Bay was fantastic. And everything was just amazing. The room was my favorite part of it all. Yeah. Everything at the room was just fantastic. Very, clean. very, very, cl very, very, clean. very clean. Like you smelt the... You smelt how clean it was. Like It feels like a brand new room at a brand new hotel. Um, and we are super excited to go back very, very soon. Uh, right now they're running deals for Halloween Horror Nights, which also gives everyone an indicator on if they will be doing it, which I already knew because I have some insiders at uh, Universal. Yes, we will be doing Halloween Horror Nights this year. Yes, we'll be doing coverage for you guys. <laughs> Um, hopefully I'll also be maybe working, maybe some things in the works. Um, but no, that, that's going to be a lot of fun, uh, that they're doing deals right now to get into the hotel and then get early admission to the park again and all that stuff. So we're looking into that so we can go do that for you guys and we can be, just get another excuse to go back to Volcano Bay and uh, not Volcano Bay, Cabana Bay. Um, no, but everything was just fantastic. A uh, big shout out to everyone who works at Universal. You are proving yourself uh, worthy in the time and dedication you put into all the measures to reopen during this uh, global crisis that we're all in right now. Um, but yeah, all with that being said, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know that it's super long, but we want to make sure we get the best quality content out there for you guys. So with that give being said, give you guys said, something to watch. Give you guys something to watch, and next video you'll have a lot to watch because uh, we're going, yeah. we're going somewhere. We're going home. We're going home. <laughs> we're going home. That's the that's your that's hint. It. That's it. That's your hint for right now. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time on the next CS Vlogs. Good morning from Volcano Bay and Cabana Bay. Wow. This is, oh, I dropped it. Theme Park Pigeon, welcome to Volcano Bay. Oh my God, there's another one. Behind you. Theme Park Pigeon. Gotta love Tim Tracker. I hate birds. Theme Park Pigeon, walking away. Turned off. Oh, oh God, I got it. attack. Fuck. <laughs> For our last day, well, first, la well, let's try this again. Hold on. More bloopers. We need more bloopers. <laughs>